All right, in this video, we'll be writing quadratic equations, and we'll only be writing them in vertex and standard form. Those are the two forms that we have been looking at. So just recall each of the forms. Vertex form includes the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is here. The y-coordinate is here. The x-coordinate is always opposite between the function and the coordinate of the vertex. Standard form is this one here. It gave us the y-intercept. This value is the y-intercept always. And we have an ax squared plus bx plus c form to it. To find vertex with this, we had to do negative b over 2a. We won't actually be uh, doing that today, but that's how we worked with those in previous lessons. So first example, write an equation in vertex form. They give us the vertex here and going through this point. So that's the information that we need. So vertex form was this again, y equals a x minus h quantity squared plus k. That is the form. So now we take the information we're given and fill it in. So this would be our h value, this would be our k value, this would be an x value and a y value. So we can fill all of that in and once we do we'll be left with that stretch factor or compression factor right here, the a value in front, and we'll be solving for it. So fill it in. y is 5, so 5 equals a is the variable we'll be looking for, and then x is going to be 0, that's this value right here, and then we have a negative 3 for our h value, so I need the opposite sign here, plus 3, quantity squared, and then I use the exact value of k, so subtract 4 there. And now start working that out. So we get 5 equals a times, this would be 0 plus 3, so 3, and then square it, would be 9, subtract 4. So keep working down here. We have 9a subtract 4. We're just solving for a here, so we'll add 4 to both sides. That'll cancel. 5 plus 4 is 9. Now divide by 9 to isolate the a. We get a equals 1. So that's not the answer. We're not done. Now we need to write it. So it would be y equals 1 x plus 3 quantity squared subtract 4. So if you notice, our final answer, y and x stay variables. Everything else needs a number. So we put a number in for h. We put a number in for k. We put a number in for a. So we always need a number here, a number here, a number here. The x and y in the final answer will stay as variables. Okay, the next part says to write that equation in standard form. So here it was in vertex form. So to write it in standard form, follow the steps in PEMDAS to make an equation from vertex to standard form. So this right here, x plus 3 quantity squared, means this, x plus 3 multiplied by itself. So that's the first thing that we do. We convert this quantity squared into each of the quantities multiplied by one another. So then we need to FOIL this out, so here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. We're going to do that multiply first, so y equals 1 times, so the first blue arrow gives me x squared, second blue arrow gives me plus 3x, first green arrow, this one right here gives me, change that color, that gives me plus 3x, second green arrow here gives me plus 9, then I have the subtract 4 outside. So if we distribute the 1 in, it doesn't change anything. If we distribute that 1 in here, it doesn't change. We're just multiplying by 1. So gather up our like terms. We get x squared. Gather these up. 3x and 3x is plus 6x. Then the plus 9, this plus 9. And then we still have this subtract 4 out here. So now we'll combine these. Those are like terms. 9 minus 4 is 5, so y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. So that would be the equivalent. They're the same function. They have the same graph. They create the same table. This one is vertex form. This one is standard form. So to go from vertex form to standard form, we FOIL out the quantity that's squared and then combine all the like terms and write our final answer. Okay, so now we have a different set of information, but we're asked to do the same thing. Write it in vertex form, then write it in standard form. So our form, vertex, is this. y equals a x minus h quantity squared plus k. 
So let's fill in what we know. We know that this is H, this is K, this is an X, this is a Y. It's important you can't say this is H and K. Okay, that's just a point on the graph. The vertex is always H and K. So make sure you don't mix those up. If you do, you'll get the wrong answer. So now let's fill in what we know. We know that Y is 2. We know A is, we don't know that. That's what we'll find. X is 1. H is positive 2, so I always need the opposite sign in my parentheses, so subtract 2, square it. K is 3, so I write that exact value for K plus 3. So now I'll start working it out to solve for A. So 2 equals A. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So we need to square this negative 1. We get positive 1. So coming over here, we get 2 equals 1A plus 3. This negative 1 times negative 1 gives me this positive 1 right here. Subtract this 3. Negative 1 equals 1A. Divide by 1 right here, and we get A is negative 1. So in vertex form, it's this. Y equals negative 1. X subtract 2 quantity squared plus 3. So that is final answer in vertex form. So next we'll write it in standard form. So we take our vertex form and we do what we did in the last example. First thing we do is that quantity squared, we write it as the factor times itself. So this. Then we FOIL out these two. So that would give me this, y equals 1, and then x times x, x squared. x times negative 2, negative 2x. This negative 2 times x, negative 2x. This negative 2 times that negative 2, plus 4. And then we still, we can't forget about the plus 3 outside. So gather like terms and move to the next step. So moving over here now, we have y equals 1 outside and uh, we have x squared minus 4x um, and the plus 4 and then the plus 3 and I need to fix this this is a negative 1 right here on all these so now I can distribute the negative 1 in all that does is change all the signs so y equals negative x squared plus 4x subtract 4 so that part's done, and I cannot forget about that plus 3 right there. So last step, just gather these two parts up. Final answer, negative x squared plus 4x. Negative 4 plus 3 is subtract 1. So there it is in standard form. Here it was in vertex form.